Yo yeah, alright guys, welcome to another video. I'm Steph here at Dusty Crow Designs and today I'm bringing you a watercolour painting titled The Temple Peaks. Um, yeah, I don't have the best when it comes to naming paintings. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, basically in this video I, um, I'm more testing out a couple of colours from the, the new Windsor and Newton paints that I got recently which was the Windsor Newton Studio 24 full pan set, I believe. I have done a video on the paints, if you wanted to have a look see what I think about them. Uh, it does show me testing out the colours, um, on, just like a colour swatch thing. I haven't done like a proper in-depth colour swatch or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so basically the idea for this painting came from very stormy weather a few months ago, and I... I originally wanted to do like stormy clouds, but my first attempt turned out more like misty hills or foggy hills. So I decided to roll with that idea and create the second painting. And what I really enjoyed about doing this painting was I literally just used two two colours, which was um, cerulean blue or cerulean. I don't know. I call it cerulean. Uh, cerulean blue, which is the um, the first blue next to the white that you can just see on the edge of the, the frame and Payne's grey because I didn't want it to be like pure black or anything like that so yeah I literally just used those two colours and watered them down as much as possible to get the really faint effect and yeah so as I as I started coming to the foreground with the, with the mountains I well the paint starts to dry anyways as you go so I would literally just add on more layers if I needed to, um, as you can see there, just adding a bit more on, going for the watered down ones to get the basic uh, shape of the mountains down and then going in with the less diluted paint and that was literally all I did, I just kept building up, building up, coming towards the foreground, uh, doing a couple more in the background, things like that. Um, I did notice that I'm still having problems with my masking tape in this, in this painting as well which is the red masking tape I've been using a while now. I I bought it originally um, from Wilkinson's, which is like an all-rounder uh, shop over here. And it works all right, don't get me wrong, like it, it does do well. It's just not very good when you're, when you're saturating the paper with a lot of water and stuff, which is what I tend to do. Um, it does still allow the paper to warp a bit because it won't stick that well, to be honest. It, it, like, I don't know if you can sort of tell, but on the right hand side, it's started coming away from the paper, which is getting really frustrating, and it means that my paints end up warp. The paper, oh, there, try that in English. Um, my paintings ended up end up warp. Oh, fucking hell, I can't say it. My paintings end up warping more often than not now. So I have bought some new masking tape, and I will be trying that out in my next few paintings, hoping that it'll it'll stick better. I mean, I'm not even putting that much water on, which is frustrating. I'm doing enough just to do like a light wash in the background. I mean, you can't even tell I've put any sort of paint in the background. I mean, as I'm putting the paint on for these mountains and stuff, it's, you know, it's very barely wet at this point. It's, it's mostly dry, if I'm honest. But yeah, so anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so the by the time I got to this point, um, I decided I was going to draw little temples on the hills again which I really enjoy doing. I like the idea of like in this valley of mountains and stuff with all these little temples on them. Um, I didn't fit well I did film putting foil on them but I didn't film it very well so in the end I decided not to add it but yeah so this is me drawing in the temples using a very light grey micro uh, not micro pen sorry. Um, I've forgotten what it's called now. Oh I don't even think I wrote the name. Like, Unipin that's it. Um, using various shades of Unipin pens um, and yeah and then after that I was like nah let's just add some foil so yeah the lovely peeling session and then yeah in the next couple of pictures you'll see the um, final pieces there we go anyways that's me done guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next again, again in the next video bye